En Eagle Pass, el departamento de policía de Texas se encontró con un grupo de inmigrantes ilegales de Venezuela y Guatemala que cruzaron el río Grande. Se les preguntó por qué cruzaban al río Grande y no van por un puerto de entrada para solicitar asilo o utilizar la aplicación CBP-1. Estos respondieron que la aplicación no funcionaba y que han estado esperando meses para una cita. Esta es una realidad clara desde las líneas del frente. Las políticas fallidas en la frontera fomentan los cruces ilegales de la frontera y crean riesgos que amenazan la vida. El estado de Texas está haciendo un esfuerzo extra para desalentar los cruces ilegales de la frontera y prevenir la pérdida de vidas. Los dejamos con las imágenes del operativo y además los testimonios de algunos de los inmigrantes. ¿Cuántos meses? Dos meses. Tratando con el CBP One App y no ojalá. Cinco meses. Esperando. Eagle Pass this evening, and we encountered a group of 11 legal immigrants that just crossed the Rio Grande from Mexico. They were all from Venezuela. We also came across a mother and child from Guatemala. They were turned over to Border Patrol. Uh, one of the things that we are seeing, we continue to see here, is these illegal crossings between the ports of entry. And that's why the state of Texas has gone far above and beyond trying to discourage illegal border crossings. We have signs, as you can see right here, placed along the river, Constantino wire, boots on the ground, our state troopers, National Guard, uh, all our law enforcement resources trying to discourage and tell these illegal immigrants that crossing the Rio Grande is very dangerous uh, to go to a port of entry where they can seek asylum. Their, their frustrations are that the CBP-1 app is not working. I asked them, why don't you go to a port of entry? Why don't you use the CBP-1 app? And they say they've been waiting in Mexico for months, they've been waiting for an appointment for months, and the CBP-1 app is not working. Uh, they've tried it both in English and Spanish, and it's not working. That's why the frustration builds up, and that's why they continue to cross and risk their lives crossing the river. What is being done to prevent these illegal crossings uh, between the ports of entry? No one else is stepping in but the state of Texas. Our state troopers, our National Guard, they are the ones on the front lines every single day, risking their lives, jumping in the river, you know, making, doing, uh, you know, performing rescue operations, um, providing medical aid, arresting smugglers that are extorting and robbing some of these illegal immigrants that are, that are coming across the river. No one else is doing that but our state troopers, our National Guard. So they're on the front lines every single day trying to discourage what is happening. And until something is put in place, until there's some type of intervention, um, we're going to continue with our operations. We're going to continue putting more infrastructure, Constantino wire, whatever other resources and strategies we can put in place to discourage illegal border crossings and save lives because that's that's the real that's the real fact and the real reality of the situation is that people are drowning because they decide to cross a real grad. People are getting hurt because they intentionally cross or try to crawl under barriers that are in place that are clearly visible from Mexico. So that's why we continue with the messaging. We continue with loudspeakers that broadcast a message. We tell them verbally not to cross and again it's all If they continue to cross, this is all self-inflicted, and that's why we continue seeing these crossings taking place between the ports of entry. Tienen permiso estar aquí en esta propiedad? Alguno de ustedes te dieron permiso para estar aquí? No. Se les avisó antes de que cruzaran que iban a estar bajo arresto si es que cruzaban por aquí. Sí o no? Vieron los anuncios de no traspasar. Si ¿Sí lo vieron, en este caso entonces todos están bajo arresto por estar traspasando en propiedad privada. The 11 that we just encountered, um, we told them if they decided to cross, they're going to be arrested for criminal trespass. They still decided to cross despite us telling them verbally, despite the Constantino wire, despite the signs that are placed along the river. They still decided to cross, and so now we are going to arrest them, and they're going to face state criminal charges for criminal trespass. So they are going to jail. Mundo Now presenta Especiales. Prepárate para conocer historias fascinantes, reportajes y trabajos de investigación de gran impacto para nuestra comunidad. Sintoniza todos los lunes a las 7 p.m. Tiempo del Este. Especiales por Mundo Now.